Today I'm going to be talking to you about application and effects of ICT. ICT is widely used in education across schools, colleges and universities. Um, this is important for students to develop new skills. Um, also the fact that a lot of information and resources are easily available on the internet. Most of these resources can be well organized and easy to read to help the students uh, learn better. Students are also able to communicate on uh, email or on social media through the internet. Digital drop boxes and online cloud storage is available for students to save files and access them from any computer or device. Um, virtual learning environments are also a part of education where this is a system or piece of software um, for delivering learning materials to the students through the internet. Um, these can include assessments, student tracking, collaboration and communication tools. An example that we use at desk is Edmodo um, where students can share documents and talk to each other with an integrated online storage system to store files um, that you may need to access from home. Computer-aided learning. Um, these are pieces of software that can help uh, benefit students to learn new and specific skills. This can be anything from image editing by using Photoshop, basic animation by using Scratch, and learning how to code and to web author using Dreamweaver. Um, steps on how to learn how to use these um, pieces of software could be teachers doing tutorials on how to use them. Uh, students can do drills and practices by doing um, a task and completing a task using the piece of software and using the technology and piece of software for simulations to mimic, mimic real life situations. School information management systems. An example of this that we use in our school is ISAMS. This uh, helps run the school day to day and can help um, keep student records, produce class lists, registering students in the morning, producing reports at the end of each term, monitoring book loans from the library and constructing timetables for the students' lessons. ICT is also used in the law for uh, police and law enforcement. This can be for national databases for storing criminal records biometrics um, to use fingerprint scanning, face scanners and DNA scans to determine um, if it's the criminal's DNA or not or to see who is involved in a certain case, uh, surveillance recording and storage uh, and contacting other police departments worldwide. <coughs> Law firms also use ICT um, which can help review case status and deadlines for preparing legal documents. So for business management and law firms, uh, word processing is used to type up legal documents. Data storage and spreadsheets are also used. And then practice management and law firms, s uh, software to aid the case management is used and legal research websites. ICT is also used in healthcare, um, mainly to organize files that like the, um, how it is used in the law and in schooling. ICT can also be used for patient monitoring, determine what is the problem with the patient. So these examples of these are magnetic resonance imaging, so MRI scans and CAT scans difference between the two is MRI scans use magnets and CAT scans use x-ray. These are these two devices are mainly used to uh, produce scans and images of the brain. That is it for this lesson. This is OG. OG Showtime. Drop the mic, I'm out.